Critter Hunter. Hey guys, today's gonna be a fun day, huh, P? Yeah. We're going to get Finn, get Shy, get Alex. While well, they're getting us. And we're gonna go diving at Alex's house at the pier. I know you guys have seen me explore that dive site before. But Finn hasn't been there, and we want to have a little, uh, a little village dinner with Alex's family. So it's gonna be a fun day, diving, boodle fight. <laughs> no, here's my gear. I got my new uh, scuba first aid kit for the truck. Uh, when I get over to the site, I'll show you what's inside. But now we gotta go get some rice and stuff for this meal. Uh, Alex's wife and Judea, whoever can, can cook while me and Finn and Alex are diving. <laughs> Sounds like a good plan to me. See you guys over there. Yeah, this is our entourage today. <laughs> oh, I missed having this type of GoPro stick. This is for the electrical. Yeah. We just gotta watch out for the electricity board. What up? You made it. So this is a much different dive for us. Well, for you, uh, Alex's house, basically. Yeah. So we're doing the lo ultimate local experience here, which I know you love all over the Philippines. Absolutely. This is my home turf right here, being with the locals, immersing yourself with the culture and the Filipino way. As, as but you, now we're doing it the diving way. So oh gonna my be god, it doesn't nice. get any better than that. Yeah. And as you saw, they're barbecuing us some chicken, fish, rice, Filipino stuff for when we get out. Uh, we got our little entourage watching our truck while we're diving. <laughs> <laughs> that cool kid was like you. Yo, what's up? You know what you do? I always do this. <laughs> he just looked away. <laughs> Anyways, um, doesn't get any better than this, man. This is the life. Yeah. So, yeah, it was too hot to do the eating right now. Let's get in the water. Let's do it. It's gonna be awesome, man. We've been exploring a lot of dive sites lately, and this one doesn't really have a name. So I'm going to call it the Alex's House Reef, since it's in front of his house. Their first little critter I run into is this cool little nudie with polka dots all over him. And I don't really know what he's doing here. Looks like he's trying to eat something. These guys are hilarious. Both Finn and I really like finding and filming different nudies because there's so many varieties and species of these guys. So they're always fun to film and always make for great little subjects. These guys never get old. Of course, we pass up a lot that we see too much of, but a lot of them are really cool and unique. If you look closely, these tiny shrimp are actually on the back of a giant starfish and it's kind of hilarious 
these little shrimp they might not be the most clear but that's because they're so tiny they're like the size of a nail clipping but as you can see they're just walking around on the back of the starfish it's kind of funny Inside this feathered sea star, I had to get a little film of this little crinoid shrimp. I always look in the colorful ones to see if there's a matching shrimp, and this one had one. Pretty cool to see a bright yellow one. Of course, I looked over and this little blenny was looking at me. They like to hide in holes and see what's going on around the world. There's so many blennies and gobies around, I'd really like to do a whole episode on those one day. They're so cool and they're always hilarious to film. Although not the easiest, sometimes they can be pretty shy. Here's a little banded pipefish, pretty common but always make for a good clip. And then we ran into this seahorse, and I think it's a thorny seahorse, but when we looked at our other footage of thorny seahorses, they had a much longer snout. So when I looked in the book, I believe this one might be a short snout seahorse. And to tell you the truth, that little short snout is pretty funny looking. The other seahorses from other episodes have a much longer snout and Kind of bigger thorns to tell you the truth. This guy was really cute though. And here's another nudie. And I, I like filming these nudies because I get to show you how many different species there are around the Philippines. As you can see this guy's quite different from the polka dot one from earlier. But still really cool with its weird lines. It looks like a topographical map with rivers. And of course there's his butt feathers. If you've never seen the butt feathers of a nudie, now you have. I looked over in another area and there was two of them together. Same species but pretty cool looking. Then of course I ran into this green and bright orange one. This guy's pretty awesome as well. Really common but like I said, I like to film different species. and. Just show you the variety. This guy was probably the biggest critter of the day. He's a giant broad club cuttlefish. Well, I say giant, but he's probably the size of a softball. But compared to the other nail clipping size ones, uh, he's a pretty big critter. Then I looked over and Finn was filming something. And I was like, yo dude, what you filming? And he said, not much. I said, let me take a look. And we ran into the... Today's favorite critter. Blue Ribbon Eel. Yep, I've been looking for a Blue Ribbon Eel for quite a while. I've seen them in Annalal. And I've seen one or two here in Dowin. Uh, but the more common ones are the juvenile ones that are all black and they're all male. Apparently these ribbon eels are all born black and male and later on in life they morph into female as well some of them and they turn to either this color blue or an even more rare bright yellow. I still have never seen a yellow one although other divers around Darwin have said they've seen them occasionally so I'm glad to find this blue one but I'd love to find the yellow one. So as you can imagine, these blue ones are quite rare compared to the black ones. I see those all the time. And I just love how this guy actually cooperated. He wasn't hiding from my lights and the camera. Usually the lights come on and they dive down into their hole. So these shots are in slow motion, so 
I'm going to show you a real time shot to show you how much these guys are moving around and how difficult it is to film them. And this is in real time. He's moving around so much, not to mention opening and closing his jaws so he can breathe. It's pretty hilarious. And in contrast, I found this ugly eel. He was nearby, probably a little jealous of all the cameras. So we've now done two dives here in front of Alex's house on this day. And it's such an amazing muck diving critter paradise. And at the very end of our second dive, we ran into one of my favorite shrimp, the Donald Duck Shrimp. I was searching for these guys a lot. Around July when the lockdown ended and I was able to dive again, I thought they were really rare. Actually they are rare, there is no conservation status on these guys. But the thing is, for the last month, I've been seeing them quite a bit. Even two or three on a single dive. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. This was just one day of awesome diving. Make sure to subscribe while me and Finn go exploring the entire Darwin coastline. See you later. Yay, another dive, another two dives. Yeah, and this guy found the freaking blue ribbon eel. You guys know I've been searching that for a while here in Darwin. Dude, we uh, actually went on a dive with my wife and we got separate. Like she went with the other guy because they were going like really shallow and I went with Alex deep and they found a blue ribbon eel. Oh. So we don't talk about that in our household. Because <laughs> she saw one and I didn't. But now, Finn found one. Yeah. So awesome. <laughs> how, how was your footage anyway? I think it was pretty good. Uh, I managed to film it without the super macro lens so that's usually even more crisp and clear. Uh, that was great. I went into deep cold on this dive so we stayed pretty deep maybe 30 meters and then I was going up to 20 and that's where my computer usually tells me that I can stay longer but it still went into deep cold so I kind of had to leave them. But we, got, we got a lot of time with that one. He was cooperative. Uh, and then he found a Donald Duck shrimp, or no, Alex found Alex, it. Uh, we, we filmed it a lot. That was good footage though. I don't know about mine, but I'm sure you did. Yeah, uh, yeah awesome dive. And that was a new dive site. Too new for me. Yeah, the second one, I don't even know the name. It was just, we just went to a friend's house and went diving in front. <laughs> so, um... Yeah, in this remote village, like how cool is that? Yeah, man. <laughs> The village, they cooked us uh, like barbecue, the whole, we got like an entourage. Uh, we had little kids sitting in the truck watching our gear while we were in the water. Our guards. Yeah. Five-year-olds. Like five-year-olds. <laughs> and then when we got out of the water, uh, a whole gang of little five-year-olds carried our gear up for us to the truck. And grandma's playing bingo <laughs> with putos in the background. Yeah, there was... <laughs> like there was no music. <laughs> there was no kids around nothing and these grannies were playing bingo with disco music going. Like hardcore music. <laughs> Loud. Yeah. We're like, it was hilarious. So Man, funny. <laughs> you don't get this at a fancy resort. No. So, alright man. Another one tomorrow, huh? Yeah, let's do it. See you guys.